Hello, my name's Duncan. In this video, we're going to go through the steps to get this continue with Facebook button to work. Here's an example of what we're going to see. And in order to get started, we're going to go here in member stack first to the settings page, auth providers, and then Facebook. Then um, I recommend clicking here on learn more and then scrolling down to you have the link to the Facebook developer site. Open that and you might need to do some setup work, but once you're in, you'll be able to view your apps and you can create a new app. First off, we're going to authenticate and request data. Click next. I am not building a game. We'll give this a name. So we'll call this member stack demo. Go with our contact e email. And then if you have an associated uh, business, go ahead and select that. And here we go. We're on our dashboard. Let's go ahead and just work our way through these steps, starting with customizing the Facebook login button. Okay, so one thing I just did here is I went ahead and added the permissions for the email. And it looks like the public profile is already added. So we don't need to worry about that. Then we can go to settings. We'll enable client OAuth login. Make sure that is on. Web is on. Good. That's all fine. And then we're going to paste in our redirect UI from member stack. Select this and paste it right there. Excellent. If we're using custom domains, we're going to need to add all of our allowed domains right here so that that works properly. And then we'll save changes. Okay, that saved. The page is blank, but we'll just click back over to our dashboard. So what I did is I just refreshed the page. It reloaded this. Now I can't can go back to customize and then we'll go back one more to use cases. And what we need to find next are the client secret and ID. So if we go to here to app settings and then basic. Here we'll find our app ID and our app secret, plus a few other things that we need to fill out. But first off, let's get the app ID. Paste that there, get the app secret, paste that right there, and save. Cool, so that's all in. In order to get this working, we'll need to update these. So display name, um, the app domains, we should fill that out if we're using custom domains or at least with our own the our own domains. I'm pretty sure we could enter a list. Yes, so you could add multiple domains there. Uh, the privacy policy terms. There we go. The category is required. We need to add an image. Get a nice logo in here. And the deletion instructions. This is a page that instructs your users how to get their information deleted. Usually that's just a help center document. In this case, I'm linking it to our terms and then we'll save those changes. The last thing we need to do is go to publish. And then we need to publish our site and we need to verify. Um, so you'll need to make sure that you have verified your business. So here I'll go in to begin verification. I might skip this. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this part of the video, but just know that you need to verify your business. And then once that is done, you should be able to publish. Once that is done, when you go to continue with Facebook, then, and, and the review has been finished, then you'll be able to have users log in and sign up using Facebook authentication. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment at the bottom of the documentation. That's going to be the best way to reach us quickly. 
and to get help in case anything goes weird. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you later.